Talk Derby fashion, a popular Louisville milliner collaborates with Vineyard Vines for Kentucky Derby fascinators each year. WDRB's Monica Harkins learned she's no stranger to partnerships with big brand names. Feathers, fascinators, bows, and beads. Forme Millinery and Nulu has it all. I never go to work every day. Jenny Fannin Still's studio in the back of her shop is stocked to the brim. I made it to her head size on this crown. But it's her old school methods that set her apart. Using wooden hat forms to mold cinema into structures. Some of them dating back hundreds of years. And this, an 1800s braiding machine to take simple strands and stitch them into sculptures. I love the process of working with the material in my hands and kind of letting it become what it wants. A lavender and she had a background in fashion and costume design that led to an interest in millinery. It certainly takes a lot longer, um, about three or four days to make a hat, um, but it's, it's a process that I truly enjoy. She started selling her creations when she lived in Chicago more than a decade ago and got a tip to try selling in Louisville. And sold hats out of the trunk of my car, and I sold out in one day, and I thought, wow, people really like hats here. <laughs> she later went to her husband and convinced them they needed to move. I fell in love with the town and the people, and was just so amazed of how supportive this place was for small businesses. A similar leap of faith. I always noticed that they never had any hats or fascinators. Helped her secure a deal with Vineyard Vines. Asked if they would be interested in seeing some samples and maybe we could partner together on a collection. And they took her up on it. I was like, oh my gosh, this is really happening. Now I have to make 700 fascinators somehow. <laughs> for the last eight years, she has designed between two to five fascinators for the Vineyard Vines Kentucky Derby collection. I uh, was able to employ about six stitchers and still do to this day. And uh, that helped me on the project. And we make it all here in Louisville, Kentucky. Her popularity only continues to grow. She's worked with celebrities, Churchill Downs, Woodford Reserve, and this year, Old Forester. So this is a real Old Forester cup. At a local woodworker. But she hasn't forgot her humble thing. beginnings. Each year, she showcases an up-and-coming milliner's work alongside her own. If it wasn't for these boutiques and hotels that believed in me, and gave me a, a, an opportunity to showcase and sell my hats, then I wouldn't be where I am today either. With the devotion to honor the past in the future. And I just want to help keep it alive. In Louisville, with photojournalist Jeff Gordon, Monica Harkins, WDRB News. I love seeing all the fashion, all the fascinators and hats. That mint julep hat was kind of cool. Mm -hmm. You could wear a fascinator with a mint julep right here. Mm -hmm. Can you pour the actual thing in there? Like this, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> like it.